Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? What's going on? This is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are Lodley to Loka, and this is Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars, episode 23. That's right, folks. We are back for another week of Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars, where we go to war weekly over the hottest topics in cruising. This is episode 23, Jenny. I cannot believe that 23. That's, we just, that's awesome. We are closing in on doing Cruise Wars for a half of a year. Yes, we are. Episode 26 will represent one half year of Cruise Wars. Big thank you to everybody that watches week in, week out. Big thank you for the people that suggest topics. Uh, we are constantly scratching our heads for new things to go in the bowl, so every comment that includes a suggestion uh, definitely gets considered for going in the bowl. Absolutely. Now, if you are new to Cruise Wars, new to La Lita Loca, first I'd like to tell you uh, thanks for coming. Uh, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Uh, we do a variety of videos, and Cruise Wars is a point-counterpoint debate video where we take some of the hottest topics in cruising and uh, we'll argue each side of it. Mm -hmm. So we have like a little fake argument. Uh, I, I think sometimes people don't realize that the first part's like fake arguing. Uh, but uh, stay tuned till the end so that you can see how we really <laughs> feel about the topics. But the mechanics work like this. We take eight topics. We put them in the bowl. The this bowl. bowl right here. Uh, five of the topics uh, survived last Cruise Wars and three are brand new. Uh, we put them in the bowl. We mix them up. And then we let fate decide whether we'll argue for or against with the roll of this 20-sided die. And then, uh, then we go at it. And then, like I said, at the come end... Come out punching. Come out punching. Then at the end, we, of course, come and tell you how we actually feel. So, Jenny, would you like to tell the people uh, what the topics were that survived the last Cruise Wars? Cruise Wars! Cruise Wars. Absolutely. 23. 23. Pretty exciting. Exactly. Yes. All right. So, let's get started. Uh, hold on. Uh, it is also customary if you're new here or if you're a returning uh, visitor before the arguments start, you just put a little hashtag Team Tony down in the comments below. Oh, no, below. no, no. It enhances, Are we gonna stop it that enhances your viewing experience. No, it doesn't. Get yourself a popcorn. Hashtag Team Jenny. Get yourself a cerveza and a hashtag Team Tony. You'll feel a lot better. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Jenny. Go ahead with the topics from the previous week's hashtag Team Tony. Mm. Okay, let's start. Cruise Wars. 23. 23. Okay, so the questions that have survived are the following. Uh, the first one is, should you park at the cruise port or at a remote lot? That's been in the bowl since May 12th. Nice. This next one has been in the bowl since June 2nd. Should you leave your significant other while you explore the port? Nice. Mm -hmm. Hashtag Team Tony. <laughs> this one has been since June 8th. Should you wear a robe or pajamas to breakfast? Pajama party. Mm. Hashtag Team Tony. Whatever. This one has been in the bowl since May 26th. Should there be an adult only, no kids section in the main dining room? Take your kids to the back. Hashtag Team Tony. And the last one that has survived has been in the bowl since April 22nd. Should you book all you can drink excursions on port days? Glug glug rhymes with Team Tony. No, it, it rhymes with Team Jenny. <laughs> and are you ready to read the new ones, Tony? These are the new ones. They all uh, were created uh, just for Cruise Wars 23. Oh, did you hear that? I'm already getting loose for this argument. All right. Uh, topic or no, getting old. The new one. Or Hashtag Team Tony just for that. <laughs> Should you rinse off or shower before you get into the swimming pool or hot tub? Hmm. Team Tony would. All right. Should you give the crew members gifts? Okay. And the third new topic going into the bowl. Should you trick the cabin light by uh, putting something other than your ship card in there? Hmm. Hmm. All right. We're going to give this a good mix. Mix them up good because we always get the new ones. The new ones and the old ones, they're all good. It's Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars 23. 23. Here we go, Jenny. I believe, uh, is it my turn to go first? Uh, you know what? You can go first if you'd like. It is, actually, I think. It is. Mm -hmm. First topic coming out of the bowl. What is the first topic, sir? 
Should you wear a robe or pajamas to breakfast? Hmm. I'm gonna roll the good trusty dusty 20-sided uh, die, zero through 10, there's no zero on the die, one through 10, uh, I am for wearing a robe or pajamas to breakfast, 11 through 20, I am against it. Okay. What did the fates decide, Jenny? Uh, it's a three, so you are for it. I am for it, all right. You are for going down to the dining room with your pajamas on. And you shall be against it. That's right. All right, Jenny, I'm going to give you the handy dandy official Lalita Luca timer. Let me know when I can. Hashtag Tony's fun. Hashtag Team Tony. That's right. You got it right, Jenny. Boom. Whatever. Okay. Are yes, you ready? I am. Go. Should you wear pajamas or a robe to breakfast? Absolutely. Uh, you brought pajamas, didn't you? You brought a robe. You might be even one of those fancy rooms where they give you a robe. Look. Breakfast isn't formal night. Breakfast isn't uh, wash your hair, get the eye boogers out of your face. And, no, you wake up in the morning like, like the hungry creature that you are. You need some sustenance. How are you supposed to start your day without a little bit of bacon, a little bit of hash brown, a little bit of coffee? What, what you got to get dressed to go get breakfast? Hey, everybody, you know, nobody's going down there naked. So what? Joe Bob's got on some flannel PJs or uh, Sally Sue is wearing her robe that may be a little too short. It's just breakfast, people. What, what is this, Downton Abbey? You got to put on like a three-piece suit to go have your hash brown taters? It's ridiculous. I'm so, you know, it's been a week of snobbery, and here's another example. Uh, oh, you got to put on some clothes to go get, look, you're on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean. Uh, you, you're almost okay. on a fl You're done. Can I have my timer, please? Hashtag not Downton Abbey. Hashtag Team Tony. Jenny, are you in it to win it this week? I'm always in it to win it. I know it. And Team that Jenny. Makes it tough for me. Uh, I've got one minute on the clock. Are you ready? I am ready. I'm 60 seconds. That's what you're going to get just as soon as you tell me that you're ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm going to put one minute. I'm going to hit start. All you got to do is say I'm ready. See, he's just trying to throw me off because he knows... One minute on the clock. Your time starts now. <laughs> Absolutely, you should not go down to the buffet with your pajamas or a robe on. I mean, you know, there's children in the buffet. That's number one. And you shouldn't be wearing your pajamas with no bra or your robe too short. You know what? That's why they have room service. So you don't have to wash your face or, you know, comb your hair before you get some breakfast and some energy. You know what? Get room service, get your coffee, get your butt out of the bed, get dressed, and go down to the buffet. Ain't nobody want to see you in your pajamas with no bra on. Nobody wants to see that robe up your booty. And nobody definitely doesn't want to see like a Tony in his flannel pajamas with a t-shirt and his hair all messed up. Come on. And then you're not even going to wear slippers on Your top of it. Your time is up, Jenny. Get room service. Your time is up. Your time is up. Man, I cannot let it go. I got to get one more minute on the clock. You go. Tell me when. Uh, it's already started. Oh, oh, I see how you're doing. You're trying to <laughs> trick me out of my time. Look, ha it's the millennial generation. Bedhead is a new style. Oh, Tony can't go down in his flannel PJs and his cool wedge bedhead. It's ridiculous. Oh, the children might see somebody almost undressed. Jenny, we all started out suckling our naked mothers. Come on, it's not like it's that big a deal. Uh, and yeah, why do I have to spend an hour before I can go get food? Do you, are you familiar with the term hangry? When I go to sleep at 10 o'clock and I wake up at six o'clock, that's eight hours. That's a long cycle to go without eating. I wake up, I am not excited. I got the bed head, I got the eye boogers, and I got flannel pajamas. I'm putting all three of those things together and I'm gonna go get me a, a blue iguana burrito or I'm gonna go get me some sort of fancy French toast or a lox and bagels and I, come on. Uh, why are you paying attention to me anyway? So what? Somebody's wearing a robe too short. Mind your business. Keep your eyes to yourself. Hashtag room service. Your time is up. You gotta pay for that. I, hashtag free food. Hashtag. Hashtag you paid your money you know, to get room service too. I paid my money. You gotta tip the room steward service people. Hashtag. Mwah. Mwah. Hashtag cry baby. I'm gonna go put my pajamas on right now. Mwah. We're not gonna settle this here. <laughs> Jenny's trying to get my dander up, but it's not going to work.
because I know I'm right. Hashtag Team Tony. Solidarity. Let me know that I'm right in there below. Hashtag Team Tony. If you don't agree with me, hashtag Loka Fam. You're always wrong if you hashtag no, Team Jenny. No, it's hashtag Team Jenny. My goodness. All right, let's just go to the next one. Leave a comment below. Because, PJs you know, at breakfast. Everybody knows. PJs at breakfast. Just get your room service. PJs at breakfast or not, leave a comment below. Topic number two coming out of the bowl. All right, topic number two. Should you park at the cruise port or at a remote lot? Interesting. That is interesting. We have to make that decision real soon. Yes, we do. All right, Jenny. What what have the fates decided you have to argue? All right, let's see. All okay. right, Jenny, you will be arguing that uh, you shouldn't park at the cruise port. Rather, you should park at a remote lot. That's right. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready, Team Jenny. Hashtag. I'm just going to let it go. One minute on the clock. <laughs> Yay! Your time starts now. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, why shouldn't you park at a remote lot? Do you know sometimes it's half the price of parking at the cruise port? I've already paid a lot of money to go on this cruise. Why am I going to pay double to park at the cruise port? You know what? On the, remote, on the remote lots, they have surveillance, they have security, and guess what? They even have a shuttle that brings you right up to the front door of the port where people that are parking at the port are still waiting in line. So I've already unpacked my car, I've already taken the shuttle over to the port, I've paid half the money that you paid, and you know what? It takes me less time to do all that than for you to drive into the port and pay top dollar to park at the port. It's crazy. Because then you know what? When I get off of the cruise, I'm going to get back right into that shuttle. I'm going to leave the port before you do the too. Your time also. is up, Jenny. Hashtag remote lot. Your time is park. up. Are Man. you ready, Tony? I wish I had more than one minute, but oh, I have whatever. one minute to tell to really set this set you straight. I guess. All right. Hashtag Team Tony. Okay. You ready? Yes. Your time starts now. Uh, of course, you should park at the cruise port. Uh, do you want your stuff to be safe? Look, you don't know what's going on at Joe's parking lot and shuttle business. Uh, we've been to one of these shuttles, and every cruise line goes out of there. There's all kinds of people walking by your car when they're getting off the cruise ship. No. Go park at the cruise port that belongs to your cruise ship so that the cruise line, they don't want you to get your stuff ripped off. They're going to, they, they make sure that their lots are safe. Uh, yeah, you're going to, your whole car, your hubcaps are going to be gone by the time you get back to this other place. And let me tell you this, uh, by the time you get off the cruise ship, you have to take it. You've been on a beautiful cruise for seven days. Then you get off. Then you got to wait on a bus. Then you got to ride a bus. Then you got to unpack from the bus. And then you got to uh, pack up your car. No, get off the cruise ship, load up your car and drive home. Your stuff's going to be safe. Yeah, it's a, you're paying a little more, but but you don't have to drive, you know, all over the freaking county to get back to your car. It's ridiculous. Uh, you know, step up with <laughs> some it. money. Hashtag spend a dollar. Hashtag. Hashtag I wish my time wasn't up. Hashtag Team Tony. I'm ready to rebut all of that. <laughs> all right, Jenny. One minute on the clock. Okay. Your time starts now. All right. So you know what? When the cruise ship and the cruise line have you on the cruise ship out in the middle of the ocean, they could care less about your car. You know what? There's people in and out of the cruise port, and then sometimes <sighs> there's no ships that are coming through for a couple of days. Do you really think that security is watching your car? No. They're just charging you double because some of the money goes to the city, some of the money stays to the cruise line. Just park at a remote lot. It's so much easier. And you know what? You don't have to carry your stuff off of the shuttle. The nice drivers take it off for you. You give them a dollar and then you're, everything is right there for you. And I'm going to go home and I'm going to beat you home because I've already got 20 minutes on you. I'm done. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to get a nice dinner on the way, too, because I saved half half my money. Your time is up, Jenny. Yeah. Time is up. It was used so wisely. We follow that advice. Uh, I'm not going to have any hubcaps. Hashtag no hubcaps.
when we get back. Oh, okay. Stranger danger. Jenny. <laughs> what? I don't even, I know I'm right, but let's just let it go. We're not, Hashtag team Jenny. We're not going to solve it here. What do you think? Uh, should you park it only at the cruise port? Should you save some money, park at the remote lot? Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, all comments should start with hashtag Team Tony. Uh, I will send you the money that I owe you. All right, Jenny. Uh, all right, so you said every hashtag should start with Team Tony, right? So do hashtag Team Tony gives the win to Team Jenny. That's you, a long hashtag. You guys know what I'm talking about. Hashtag Team Jenny. Don't listen. Don't listen to this nonsense this over here. Then. Just hashtag Team Tony. Hashtag Team Lalita Loca. You know how it goes. Okay. One more topic. Topic number three. The last topic Come, of Cruise Wars 23. It's a new one. Should you rinse off slash shower before you enter a hot tub or a swimming pool? Hmm. What you gonna be, Tony? What is it? It's a 16. I will be arguing that you. there's no need to do that. Okay. Work the clock, woman. Hashtag Team Tony. Hashtag Hey Girl. There you go. Uh, no. Uh, why, why am I gonna rinse off before I get in a bucket of water? It's ridiculous. It's like, wh why would you take a shower before you get into water? It's... Uh, I don't even know how to argue this. Of course, I'm not going to rinse off or take a shower before I get into a swimming pool. The whole reason I'm getting in the hot tub is to get wet. Uh, and, you know, and there's chemicals in there. Uh, it, it, it's Not only is it cleansing for the spirit, but it's also cleansing for the body. You let that chlor chlorine take the bacteria off. Look, swimming pools are places where people get in to pee, uh, to get in there to knock the sweat off. It's ridiculous. Why am I going to take a shower to get in a cesspool like that? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, no, do not waste your time showering. Go play basketball. Go get sweaty in all the right places and then jump in the cool pool to knock all that stuff off of you. Put some dirty clothes on. It's an easy way to wash your clothes too. Of course you should not. Your time is up. Hashtag cesspool. That's nasty. What? Jenny. All right. I, I, do you do you feel like there's even an argument for taking a shower? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, uh, let's hear this dribble. One minute on the clock. Time starts now. So you get out of bed, you brush your teeth, right? You should get out of bed, take a quick shower, head down and get some a little something to eat, go sit on the deck, then you're all nice and refreshed. And you're going to jump in the pool. It's going to feel so good. You're going to get in the hot tub and loosen up your bones. Absolutely you should take a shower. Nobody wants to get into a dirty hot tub or the pool and watching people with sweat and just rolling out of bed getting to your pool. Come on, that's nasty. Yes, you should take and you should rinse it off anyway. Like you don't, when you get out of the pool, you rinse off to get off all the chlorine. So yeah, you should rinse off before you jump in there. That's why they have the showers on the outside of the <sighs> pool. Not just for you to clean off your chlorine. It's also to clean off your sweat before you get in. Your time is up, Jenny. Your time is up. Obviously. Are you ready? I would like to take my one minute to oh rebut that Oh my goodness, argument. I can't even. Go. I just can't believe this idea that I have to get clean before I get into water. Do you know what cleans you? Water. It's so ridiculous. It's like, uh, I don't even know what it's like. It's like uh, getting dirty before you get muddy. I, I don't even have a good analogy. It's so absurd. Get in the swimming pool. But, you know, put your swimming trunks on, get in the swimming pool, get out of the swimming pool, dry off, and take a shower the next day like normal people. It's, it's not good for your skin to be washing over and over. You, you got to build up protection to the, I'm not a doctor, look, I am not a doctor, but you guys know this is sound medical advice. You need all that funk to make you healthy. Quit washing off the funk because you're going to get sick. This is, this is news that you can use. 
Hashtag quit washing off the funk. Uh, get in the swimming pool. Get your chlorine. Get your bacteria. Get your where people peed. And get out and go get something to eat. Don't even change clothes before you go to the buffet. Take your wet, soggy <laughs> ah, trunks. That's it. Stick your hand. Get your piece of cantaloupe. Touch the cookies. It's how people are going to stay healthy. Hashtag stay healthy. Team Jen. Hashtag Team Tony. But we're not going to settle this here. We're not going to settle it. Because you know I'm right. Uh, what about you folks? Should you shower before or even after uh, you go swimming? Uh, leave a comment below. All right, and now we're going to let the people uh, know how we really feel. And hey, if you like this kind of content, uh, take a moment, hit the like button before you get to the end. Uh, and if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe to the YouTube channel and with notifications on. And uh, come on over to uh, the La Lita Loca Cruising community on Facebook. Uh, these conversations always spill over to there. And so if you want to go have a, a hot discussion <laughs> on whether you should shower before, you're going to find that conversation over there. But now, on without further ado, without any more delay, without dragging it out, without taking another 15 seconds, without getting an eye roll, <sighs> let's just tell the people how we really feel about these topics. Jenny, I gave you enough time. Are you ready? I am ready. All right. What were the questions? Okay, the first question was, should you wear a robe or pajamas to breakfast? Uh, so you know what? Everybody paid their money to each its own. Um, I just don't think that you should go to a public place where people are eating and not wear a bra or it's something skimpy. Um, yeah, so it's weird. I mean, it's weird, right? Like, so imagine you're going to the Lido buffet now. <clears throat> In a couple of hours, there'll be people out there with bikinis. Right. Uh, they'll be they'll be showing all the all the all the goods or showing some of the goods. So the argument would be you shouldn't do that at breakfast. Um, you know, I don't know. Like, are you gonna stay covered up the whole time? I, I do think it's it's out of line. Like, if you know somebody's you know inappropriately dressed I don't, I don't know i'm okay like if you want to throw your sweatpants on and a t-shirt or I, I don't even care if, if you don't wear a bra i know that that's a thing for you but um you know but i i just don't be half naked i guess that doesn't seem appropriate because at mm -hmm. least like when you go to the pool deck you kind of expect that but right. you probably don't expect to see that over breakfast no but I, i'm not saying you have to dress up at breakfast no plus it gives us something to talk about yeah it's pretty cool <laughs> What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. I don't know that we answered that, but leave a comment below. Okay. Uh, the next question is, should you park at the cruise port at a remote lot? Who cares? <laughs> right. Yeah, so I think it's... Uh, I don't know why that ended up I in mean, the bowl. I mean, it's your personal preference, yeah. really. Um, they both have pros and cons. Um, I mean, if you get a better... I mean, we, we've parked at the remote lots. We've not parked at a port yet, so... Yeah. Do your homework. Just because it's cheaper. It is cheaper to park at a remote lot. Do your homework just to see if any of the reviews say, oh, wow, somebody took stuff out of my car. But uh, we haven't had that experience so far, so no. it's been good. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. And the last one, which is a really hot topic. <laughs> Should you rinse off or shower before you enter a hot tub or a swimming pool? I think you're supposed to, right? Like, you're supposed to. I'm sure the hot tubs and swimming pools aren't the cleanest things in the world. They're not. That's why they're loaded with chemicals to kill bacteria, mm -hmm. to kill when people use the bathroom in there. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know that it makes a difference, but I think, you know, like if you just played some basketball or like, say you, like you were saying, you just laid out on the pool deck and you got oils or uh, suntan lotion, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You probably don't want to be dragging that into where everybody's swimming, but you know, I, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I work in multifamily, so I mean property, the, right? Multifamily, multifamily, like apartments and stuff, right? Yeah. And you know, we have we have inspections on the pool, but really just at the beginning and the end of a season. Yeah. And I don't know. Um, I'm sure on the cruise ships, though, the pool monitors yeah. or they have to be certified also probably I like on think. the daily they're checking the ph balance oh yeah i mean they should be yeah but i'm i don't i know my you know my maintenance team have to be certified right so i don't i'm, I'm sure there there's some kind of certifications yeah. they have to go through so i mean it's fine hot tubs have a lot of nasty bacteria in it though yeah yeah so uh again i think you're gonna be fine uh but 
Yeah, if you're all sweaty and stuff, maybe it's appropriate to... Well, I mean, they have showers out there. Why right. not just rinse, rinse yourself off, off before yeah. you go in there? And most people do it on the tail end to get the clothes Yeah, and, off. and I mean, especially the oils, it clogs everything up. Yeah. So, yeah, you should be rinsing that off. Interesting. Well, Jenny, those were the three topics this week. I don't think we were super definitive about any of them. That happens sometimes with Cruise <laughs> sometimes Wars. Sometimes, Cruise Wars! Uh, we're very much uh, to each their own. Uh, you know, we're excited to be cruising, and uh, very little makes us lose our mind. Uh, yeah. But we have seen all these topics uh, in uh, in conversation before where people have completely lost their minds. So uh, where do you stand on it? Super passionate about any of these? Uh, any other topics that you'd like to suggest? Uh, please leave a comment below. Again, if you like With this... With hashtag Team Jenny. Yeah. Come on now. I thought we established <laughs> this early. Hashtag Team Tony. <laughs> if you like this video, hit that like button. And uh, come on back and see us for the next video. Uh, again, this was Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars! Cruise Wars 23. 23 uh, approaching half a year Cruise Wars. That's amazing. Uh, we are getting ready to go on a Princess Caribbean cruise. Maybe we'll get to do Cruise Wars on the cruise ship. So I think that'll be our half year. It could be our half year. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And again, my name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lido Loca. And until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye.